Hey, let's build a presentation system for a church, why don't we? Let's go. Hey guys, this is AJ the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I have been blessed with another church that we're going to be working with um, next week. And I want to walk you through everything. Um, I did this before when I, in this video, um, whatever one when, when I did it in this video um, how to design a system so I'm actually gonna walk you through me applying those same steps but actually doing this for a client that I'm gonna be installing um, this Tuesday so what I'm gonna do is actually um, I don't have the blueprints for the church but it's a real simple church so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up some blueprints and we're gonna go ahead and design this thing together show you the parts that I'm gonna use actually ordered some of the parts already so i'm gonna share what, what i did uh already have a computer coming in and i well, let's just go through the whole thing all right let's let's go ahead and jump over to my computer all right so here's just a little mock-up that i have i actually don't have their um actual blueprints so i just actually found a church blueprint and i kind of edited it to make it look as close as possible to what the church looks like so pretty much the pastor what he wants is to be able to project scripture and lyrics for the whole congregation he has a vision of what he wants to do he's starting with a foundation and working up and pretty much that's what we kind of want to focus on we're not just putting something in place that has to be gutted later so what we're going to do is like, let's look over here right now into floor plans. So the first thing he wanted is obviously he wants to have a screen that goes on the front so that the congregation can see. So the idea is when, at least from my mindset is when you have a screen, depending on the size of the church, and this isn't a really big church, when anybody's sitting in the congregation, you want them to only have to do this to look at the screen. You only want them to move their eyes. You don't want them to have to move their entire head. At least that's just my thought. It, that way it's easy of just being able to, it's just like driving. You drive, you want to be able to glance and see everything that you need without having to be all over the place. All right. So that's the first thing. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to use red right now, just so you can um, make it real simple. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we want to place place the TV that's in the range that's easy. Now, they have a lot of stuff on their pulpit, so, and I'm talking about on the pulpit as well as the wall, their thermostats, emergency lighting, and things like that. So we don't wanna have to move that. So we're looking at maybe because of the distance and how big the sanctuary is, we're looking at about a 55 inch screen that's gonna go in the front. So we're actually moving it over to the side in this area here just because of where it is so again this was the blueprint there's no door right here it's a solid wall um so what we're gonna do is put the first tv about here because their their drums and keyboard is right here in the area in this area right here and then there's a speaker right here so it's not gonna be right up against the wall so i should shouldn't have really drawn it drew, uh, drew it right there <laughs> So let me erase a little bit of this. Oh, I didn't think this would erase all of it. So this is going to be the first 55 inch is going to be right about here. All right. So he wants to also have a confidence monitor, which is going to be in the back. Now, um, this isn't most ideal. So they really have a bump out. This is actually a solid wall right here. So let me actually do that here. So this is actually a solid wall right here. And this is the exit. Um, this side goes to their daycare. This is actually the entrance, the main entrance into the sanctuary. So this is a solid wall. So he wants a confidence monitor and we're going to put another 55 right here because all of this is open and right here is where the media booth is, which is mainly right now consisting of only a sound system. So here's the TV. Here's the TV. And let's... Can I draw a box? So let's do this here. This is a, my bad impression of a table 
and a small audio rack that they have right here. I'm gonna put some chairs right here or something. All right. And then they have, and I'm sorry, I was mixing this up. Their speaker is actually right here and right here. And they're all attached to the wall. All right, so let's go ahead and color that in. Uh -uh. This is a solid wall. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. And here's a table and a desk and all that other fun stuff right there. And I just made it worse. <laughs> all right. So we got the two things. We got our T. They want a TV right here and they want a TV right there. Now they do have internet in this area. So we're going to have to run a, um, a hard line in here um, just for future. So what we're going to do is everything new is going to be in red as well, too. That'll make it easy. So we're going to have our PC right here. All right. And that's really the whole thing. So um, I'm putting, I've done multiple videos about different aspects. So we're putting it all together. So I'm going to link to the video that I'm talking about and actually show how we're doing this. So we have about 35 feet between this computer and this front TV and then this one, which is closer, but we still need to run um, cable. So we have done HDMI over ethernet before and actually in other churches what i've done is take the secondary output from the pc oh, you have monitor number one is for what who's going to be watching to be able to see everything and then output number two hdmi is would normally go to an hdmi splitter or it would convert over to SDI, and then I would go SDI to a SDI splitter, then a SDI to each individual TV or output, then go SDI to HDMI. That's overkill in this scenario. So what we're gonna do is, I in this type of case, I would still do the same thing, but I wouldn't go SDI. So it's not a drop ceiling in this church, so it's actually drywall, so I wanna do as little puncturing of punching through, ripping up drywall, because we want to be able to get this done in a day. So what we're going to do is go HDMI to CAT6. Uh, but normally when I've done that before, what I, which I was alluding to, is I would go HDMI out, HDMI to an HDMI splitter, which was normally powered. And then from that splitter, I would go to again another HDMI to ethernet converter, two of them, which both of them would run back onto the back of the TV. Now, Ori, and I will link it in the description, everything I'm talking about is gonna be in the description. Ori has a built-in HDMI, one HDMI in, two ethernet out um, distributors, extenders. So that's what we're gonna use. So instead of having two separate devices, it's gonna actually be a splitter built into this. So I'm gonna use, uh, let's use green for that. So we're gonna have our little converter box here, and I know it's not gonna be in the middle of the floor. It's actually gonna be up under the table, all right? So we have that, and what are we gonna use for lines? Let's use orange, and let's use a thinner line here. Oh, blue, that'd be better. All right, so what we're gonna do, and it, I shouldn't have drew this right here, because it's actually gonna be right here. So, but anyway, what we're gonna do is one line is going to come into the here then it's going to come out with two lines so we have a splitter one cable is going to go here with the other converter hdmi um, ethernet to hdmi back which is the receiver which is going to be on the back of this tv and then this one we're going to run all the way across here to the front into the back. So even though this is 35 feet, most likely it's gonna be 50 feet of cable. Now this HDMI to ethernet is rated to go 135 feet. So this is more than enough in this area, all right? So we have this converter. It's gonna swing over here. We obviously, we need mounts and everything like that to put everything in place. Then we have a little converter that we're gonna do double-sided um, sticky tape with Velcro 
and put it on the back of the TV so that it holds in place right there. We got mounts here and we're also going to put a surge protector on each one so that everything plugs in. I might not need the surge protector. Um, these might be USB powered and I can plug it in the back of the TV. The pastor is actually getting the TVs and so that's one less thing we have to do. We just have to mount them. So in this whole scenario, we got two mounts. We have the HDMI, one HDMI in to two Ethernet out extenders, which will have a receiver that goes on the back of each TV. And then we have our standard um, custom presentation PC, which is similar to the one that we're doing for the giveaway, the 500 subscriber or July 1st giveaway. So make sure you get on that so you can actually have a chance to win that. Um, and how you do that, you subscribe, turn on bell notifications, and when we do the ultimate presentation PC build, leave one comment and we'll randomly pick out of that um, for that. But I digress, let's go back to this. So that's the layout of what we're gonna do. Really simple, not anything major to that. All right, so let's go over to ajstuff.com and we're gonna go to the basic two display church project kit and this is as we look here this is everything that's going into this build for the church here's the basic presentation computer which i will be using worship extreme for them um, and it's pretty much the same basic running off of Ryzen 3 2200g um, only eight gigs of memory for right now but we can always move that up um, but based off of what they're going to be using this for, that's more than enough to be able to handle it. The motherboard has, has three display outs, so we have an extra one if we need to. But again, since we're not using the extra output, we're using the Ori as our splitter. We're getting another display and still saving an output from our motherboard. Um, Windows 10 Home um, also included some basic power strips to go under each TV to power everything there. And there's a surge protector just in case if anything happens. Um, these are some TV mounts that I'm using. They can go all the way up to an 80 inch. We were under the agreement that we're gonna use 55 inch screen TVs, but I like to have it to where if they ever decide to go to bigger TVs, you can have the mounts and they can go up to 80 um, inch screen TVs. And that's pretty much it. So. All this stuff has been ordered. It will be in the house here for me to put together around Tuesday. And this project actually is gonna get started on Wednesday. And this type of project, um, oh, oh, sorry, I didn't include, I have about a thousand feet of Cat6 cable that I still have left over from another project. And we're gonna be, the walls are white, so is the cable. So we're just gonna be tacking it down all the way across either the baseboard or all the way across the um, ceiling so that no one can really pay attention to it. But I mean, that's that's easy. But anyway, everything is gonna be here Tuesday. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the computer. Um, no reason for me to go through that. I've built that same computer multiple times. So I'll do a quick time lapse with that system. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna meet the pastor there on Wednesday. We're gonna get everything installed, hang the TVs. And what we're gonna do, that shouldn't take more than a day. Cause again, I have more than, I have my, my TV here. I have another TV over here. So I can actually put everything together and test out that splitter here so that we know it's gonna work. Cause that again is one of our steps. Hook everything up as a dry run here before you start hanging, putting holes in walls and everything to make sure everything works. All right, that's about it. So if you like this type of content, I would appreciate a like, consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that bell notification. That way you get notified of new videos and we will see you on the next video later.